So welcome uh, Lloyd Timolek. Um, we are here in Härdesand at the CEDA conference and uh, we discuss sustainability. And my question to you is uh, what sort of advice would you like to give the uh, CEO of today with the background of the financing crisis if they would like to walk the talk of sustainability? Well, let me answer that by saying what 29 companies recently did. They tried to envision a sustainable world by 2050 and then figure out how to get there. During the process, they all realized how disastrous business as usual would be. It would be the end of civilization very quickly. And so they began to think of all the ways that they can walk the talk, such as saving energy and saving water, but that's not enough. They also realized they have to become much more political than ever before, become uh, states people, as it were, campaigning for the sort of uh, framework conditions that are required so that business can make the huge changes needed for sustainability. Not using less carbon, but using more of some energy which is, which is non-carbon. Uh, keeping water inside the system, all of these things. But the main thing is to become sensitized to how, how little time we have to do nothing less than save civilization, as it were. It sounds to be a lot of questions for a CEO, and, and how should he handle all the different uh, challenges and, and dilemmas? Well, as I say, the first thing is to realize what's going on, and when you think about it, it's only uh, for a very few years that we've had the really bad news. We, we learned from the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment in 2005 that two-thirds of our ecosystem services are being used unsustainably. Key things like water and topsoil and forest. And we learned in 2007 from the climate change, uh, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, that um, everything the scientists have warned us about in terms of climate change will come true, except much faster than we thought before. So CEOs have to know this. And once they know this, they have to figure out how to involve their companies in solutions. Because if companies can just place themselves to be part of the solution, um, they will be ahead of the game and ahead of the competition. And it, it's really a fairly simple choice. You either sort of vote for unsustainability, which will destroy society and destroy your company, or you, you vote for sustainability and position yourself to take advantage of that change. Thank you very much. A pleasure.